compounding database of information and knowledge that I've taken from physical books and then analyzed and put into what I want to store and I want to know in a database. Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I will firstly want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for giving me your time. I really do appreciate it. Now, if you are like me, you love reading on paperback books and I don't know what it is, but for me, I feel like it's the fact that I work so much on computers. I work so much with, yeah, I, I work so much on computers and I work so much with screens and technology. I just find having a paper book to physically hold is really, really nice and kind of therapeutic. The one thing that I found with having a paper book over a digital book, Kindle, etc., is taking notes. Now, I, for one, take code. So this is the uh, Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you have a look through, you can see that there is copious amounts of highlights and, and notes and. Uh, yeah, all the all the different good stuff from at the appendix now. I take a lot of notes and it works for me in the sense that I, <laughs> so you can see there, we've got like all the different pages that being mentioned. Now this would be good and I, I think if I want to reread that book, I know just to look at the highlights essentially and I, I will be able to read it and just understand it. But one way I wanted to develop this and, and sort of further progress it is to develop a system for taking notes. Now the system that I use is Notion. If you've ever watched any of my channel you probably know that I've mentioned Notion before. I'll link the video up here which is how I organise and plan my life using Notion. The notes are I think really good. They might There might be a better way to do it but I'm going to break it down how I do it and the, the sort of process that's involved. I'm going to share my screen so you can see how I've done it. So yes, let's take this for example, the Atomic Habits, and I'm, I'm literally gonna fill it in the way that I would do. Um, so after I've read a book, so firstly what I do is I make a note of when the book was actually read and when I first read it, just because I found that I, like, I've been going back and reading different books and I've been getting confused as to what the actual book was or when I did first read it. So we're here on my notion and we can see that these are all the books that have broken down. So we've got like the books from 2020, the books from 2021. I've read a total of 33 books this year. And yeah, we can see the Atomic Habits Clear. I've got, would I recommend it? Yes. I, I've started to tag it so that I can see what it is. Um, so we've got growth, development, psychology, focus, habits, entrepreneurship, business, money, lifestyle. Uh, a link, an Amazon link to it if I ever want to copy it or just post it um, when I read it. So that took me a week exactly to read and then a sort of rating out of five just so I know how I felt about the book um, and then an initial comment as to sort of what the book was. But then if we go in and open it up, we can see that again, we've got the, the points that I've just mentioned there. So we've got, would I recommend it, Amazon, etc. Then I've started to write down a key takeaway. Who would benefit from reading this book? What I liked about the book, what I disliked about the book, and would I recommend the book? And then a favorite quote from the actual book itself, um, whether that's an author or a quote that they've included, I, I really like having that there. I'll tell you the reason why is on my website, I actually, I, I post this, so this is, Again, curating content for my website that I can use. So if, if we go into books, I don't think I've got this book. Yeah, so okay. Uh, make time for the important things, which is the book by Jake Knapp and Jake Zazaski. Um, again, the quote that I like, the read time, ha sort of rating, the book build. I, I like including the book build because I find that some books are just really bad quality and I hate it, can't stand it. So yeah, the book build and um, yeah, just ev everything about the book and it's, it's again a piece of content that people can go on and hopefully that if they're searching for reviews they'll be able to find this website. So then taking an example from the notes, um, so the first highlight, I'm going to find a smaller one, is number six. So there's the highlight and it says a habit is a routine or behaviour that is performed regularly and in many cases automatically. So. I'm gonna put, we're literally gonna do this and I'm only gonna do it for one, so 
habit routine. This is a quote, so I'm gonna go a habit. Yeah, I can spell. A habit is a routine or behavior that is performed. I can't spell regularly <laughs> and in many cases auto change the spelling on that so yeah um what is a habit my thoughts habits can be both bad and good choose them wisely there you go that's my thoughts around that it's very simple um so yeah uh, the, the reason I do this is so that I can then go in and see what I'm actually um, writing about. So if I want to learn about a habit or if I want to learn about, this is what I love about Notion, is like you can go on and go to Quick Find and then you can go like um, wealth. So if I search wealth, so you got email for visited, power of no, positive no, the almanac of Novel Ravikant. So these, these again are all books that I've taken notes on and I can see so let's go to the Almanac and Naval Ravikan and we can see that uh, page 38, it says, if you're looking forward to the long-term goal of getting wealthy, you should ask yourself, is this authentic to me? Is it myself am I uh, that I'm projecting? And then am I productizing it? Am I scaling it? And am I scaling it with labor or with capital or code or with media? This is hard. This is why it takes, I say it takes decades. So. If I ever need anything that I can just go and jump back onto, then I can, I've can. i created this essentially database of knowledge that I've read and understood, but then I can utilize the power of Notion and utilize the power of computers to actually just quickly find stuff that I want to. So that's what I really, really enjoy about it. It takes time, that's the thing. It does take a while to do. To have all that there ready, for me to just go and jump in. If I'm, say I'm ever feeling like stressed, I bet there's something on stress that I can just go and read and then I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I should try that. Or or there's maybe something on family or stoicism or whatever I've read. And I've read 33 books this year. So there's a compounding database of information and knowledge that I've taken from physical books and then analyzed and put into what I want to store and I want to know in a database and I find this really useful um, and I just think it will help to get the ideas from books which I think books are fascinating and books are brilliant but we don't retain about 80% of the book and a lot of it is fluff and I do get that but I think if you can have something that you can something tangible that you can like go back to and refer to and see where you've mentioned it I just think this will be useful so I want to say thank you so much for watching. This is my little breakdown of my geeky technique for basically making sense and understanding of my notes in my book. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to help you and I'd love to answer them for you. Please consider subscribing as it helps me to grow my channel and it helps me to create content and get new ideas and generate different things. So. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Keep reading. Um, any book recommendations, give them to me. Goodbye.